here on tour with two majors, the 2005 U.S. Open and the 2006 Tournament of Champions, the 7-8 PBA Player of the Year from Double Oak, Texas. Please welcome Chris Barnes. So much of this broadcast has been spent talking about Kelly Kulik. Let's not forget about Chris Barnes. This is a Hall of Fame bowler, folks. And the guy is well in the hunt for Player of the Year. Wow. Boy, this is not what you want to see or hear out of Chris Barnes if you're pulling for his camp. All the practice that he got prior to the start of this match, and then he throws that shot and comes back and goes, wow. I mean, there's a lot of indecision going on in the head of Chris Barnes right at this moment. Cleans that one up and walks away from it. Time now for our bear breakdown. Number one seed, Chris Barnes, taking on number two seed, Kelly Kulik. And there's been so many times when Chris has struggled on television, he struggled in title matches. Who can forget the 2008 Tournament of Champions where he had a 50-plus pin lead against Michael Halgan Jr. only to miss a 10-pin late and lose by a pin. Ball change for Barnes, and it works on the left lane. But there's also been times when he's been very, very good. Kelly Kulik has been in pressure situations before. She's won three majors, the 03 Women's U.S. Open, the 07 Queens, and the 09 PBA Women's World Championship, which earned her berth here into the TOC. Even through one and a half. <laughs> it's just incredible. First woman to ever compete here in the Tournament of Champions, the native of Union, New Jersey, with three major titles, four-time member of Team USA. And what's on the line today? How about a two-year exemption on the tour and a $40,000 check? I ask you, not to get ahead of ourselves, Kelly, but should you win it, what are we going to do with that money? She's going to put down a down payment on a house as her mom is in the crowd watching this one. Boy, the temperature in the building just went up about 15 degrees if you're Chris Barnes. His opponent off to a red-hot start with a three-bagger. And his opponent just happens to be a woman. Kulik has started both of her matches with strikes. She finds herself getting in a comfort zone immediately. Barnes, bottom of the third, down 20. Leaned, but it wouldn't drop. Barnes cleans that one up. Barnes with the 2008 Tournament of Champions blew a 52 pin lead and lost to Michael Haugen Jr. 215 to 214 in the same building. Talked at the outset, a lot of people trying to exercise some demons today. Rhino Page couldn't. Barnes trying. Oh boy. Four six ten. We've seen this before from Chris. Unfortunately, an open frame for Chris Barnes. I know we're only in the third frame for Kelly Kulik, but 
right now, she's got her eyes on $40,000 and a two-year exemption and history. going your way if you're going to win that was an epic break for Hewlett when it's your day it's your day it's been her week she's been solid as a rock the entire event and when you're throwing it good and you're making good shots the pins know it and they cooperate just like that trip mm. four on a three bagger so Kulik steps up to open up the fifth looking for five in a row to start her title match with Barnes How is that even possible? All the great breaks, all the great shots she's thrown, and this happens? Boy, you want to talk about somebody getting the defibrillator out on Chris Barnes, that's what'll do it for you. Takes care of the seven. First open frame of the day for Kelly Hewlett and new life for Chris Barnes. Last two shots on the right lane, both light. Barnes looking to make an adjustment and looking to get back in this match with a strike here in the fifth and another one in the sixth. He has just one strike. This title match came in the second on the left lane. And there's strike number two, and oh, momentum is a fickle mistress. Nice. Time now to fire up the RV. Go RV and on the road next week, just south of Los Angeles in the Orange County area, Fountain Valley, California, for the one a day Dick Weber Open. Live coverage, one Eastern on ESPN2. I can't stress that enough. Next week, we're live on ESPN2. And in the following week, the Chris Paul PBA Celebrity Invitational. You can see that one Sunday, February 7th, 2 Eastern, ludicrous in the house for that shot. Barnes in the sixth, leaves the 10. That hurt. Yeah, that was brutal, trying to get back into this match. Makes the adjustment on the right lane, catches a strike, looking to double up, only to leave a nasty ringing 10. Watch how fast the six pin goes around it. <laughs> 